Kenya Moore and her estranged husband Mark Daly have been battling it out in divorce court for years. And to be honest, no one is surprised that their relationship has gone up in flames. Since the very beginning, there were so many red flags bussing Kenya upside the head. But do you think she gave a damn? If you hate it when we plug our snacks, we do not care. But for the rest of y'all, be sure to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of teriyaki beef jerky, toasted corn nuts, and butter toffee peanuts. This story starts way back in the summer of 2016 when fellow Bravo TV star Chef Roble invited Kenya out to dinner while she was visiting New York. Kenya wrote on her Bravo TV blog, I was in a dark place, but something told me to go. By dark place, she was referring to her relationship with Matt Jordan. Y'all remember him, right? He was the tenderoni that was acting a fool up in Moore Manor. He broke the window in the garage. This is out of control. Their relationship came to an end in June 2016 after they got into a huge dispute while vacationing in Mexico. But you cannot press everybody's buttons constantly. I'm sorry. Do I react appropriately to every situation? No. But you cannot poke at a person and poke and poke. So anyway, back to the story. Kenya was dealing with the end of that relationship when she and Chef Roble stopped by a restaurant that was co-owned by Mark. Since Chef Roble and Mark were acquaintances, Mark stopped by their table on his way out to say hello, and Chef Roble introduced him to Kenya. After Mark left, the chef spoke so highly of Mark that Kenya was intrigued. Mark was a former Wall Street banker and entrepreneur who spent his time finding ways to give back to people in need. While Kenya listened intently to all of Mark's positive traits, she thought to herself, how come I can't meet a guy like that? What the chef probably didn't tell Kenya was that Mark was married once before, back in 1997. According to lovebscott.com, the relationship produced two children and his wife filed for divorce after one year of marriage. Kenya headed back to Atlanta, and it wasn't until December 2016 that she decided to break one of her own dating rules by making the first move. She reached out to Chef Roble and asked if Mark was single. So let's rewind a bit. During their initial meeting, Mark was polite enough to introduce himself to Kenya. However, it doesn't appear that he was interested enough to ask for her number. Instead, Kenya's the one who got the ball rolling. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with her making the first move. In fact, at the time, she said she was glad that she had taken a risk. However, perhaps he wasn't that into her until he found out what she had to offer. Hmm. Okay, moving on. They started off by spending hours on the phone. In her Bravo TV blog, Kenya said she opened up to him and let her guard down almost immediately. After their first date, she called her bestie Cynthia Bailey and told her that Mark was her future husband. She later told ET Online that it was love at first sight and Mark expressed the same sentiment by confirming that he fell for her on their first date. They continued on with their long-distance relationship and immediately started planning their wedding. And four months before becoming husband and wife, Mark reportedly started paying off a six-figure tax lien, according to Radar Online. The final amount of his outstanding bill was paid in full 10 days before the wedding, which led many to speculate that Kenya offered to pay the bill in exchange for getting married. We're unable to confirm this rumor, though. On June 10, 2017, Kenya and Mark got married at a private resort in St. Lucia. Now, keep in mind, this was six months after they first started dating. She later revealed that she allowed Mark to talk her out of getting a prenup. <laughs> None of her Real Housewives co-stars received an invitation, and Kenya's father wasn't able to make it either because he was celebrating his birthday in Jamaica. 
But People Magazine received an invite and was there to capture the first pictures of the new couple. In other words, it's very likely that People Magazine paid Kenya a nice little checky check in order to capture photos of her wedding for their magazine. When news broke that Kenya had jumped the broom, some people were convinced it was all a stunt, while others insisted the ceremony wasn't even recognized in the U.S. Aside from the People magazine photos, Kenya kept Mark's identity on the hush-hush for a while, which only fueled the rumors that there was a paid actor in Kenya's life story. And get this, just 10 days after getting married, TMZ reported a judge granted Kenya a one-year restraining order against her ex-boyfriend, Matt. Just a few weeks after their elopement, Kenya broke down at her home after telling a friend on the phone how hard it was to be married while living her life in the spotlight. As cameras rolled, Kenya said, he did not sign up for the crazy, he signed up for me. Kenya then took one of the show's producers into a room and could be heard sobbing. She expressed how she and Mark were supposed to go to church the next day for the preacher to bless their marriage. However, Mark was so stressed out by all of the rumors and craziness surrounding their wedding that he couldn't sleep and he wasn't eating. On top of that, Kenya said some of Mark's ex-girlfriends from 25 years ago were contacting him, and one of Kenya's exes had reached out to Mark as well to stir up trouble. Through tears, Kenya said, All this pressure, and it's like too much to deal with, and I don't want to get divorced. Sources claim the scene was filmed two weeks after Kenya and Mark tied the knot. Yes, we said two weeks. Things settled down for them and their long-distance marriage. But during an episode of Real Housewives, Kenya told her castmates that 47-year-old Mark didn't know how to get on a plane, and she had to book his plane tickets and pick out his clothes. Was Mark just making excuses so he wouldn't have to see Kenya that often? Many people thought so, including her co-star Portia Williams, who told Kenya, Girl, that man has been flying without you his whole life. Mark made his debut on the show during a March 2018 episode. From there, it was all downhill. Ahead of their one-year wedding anniversary, Kenya revealed during the show's reunion episode that she hadn't even met Mark's parents and had only chatted with them on the phone. When asked if she thought it was odd that she hadn't met her in-laws, Kenya said, No, I don't think so. They live in a different state. I think they were on a cruise at the time of the wedding. When fans posted their puzzled reactions on Twitter, Kenya said it was no big deal because Mark had barely met her dad a few months before their one-year anniversary. What in the world? The couple underwent in vitro fertilization and unfortunately, Kenya twirled off the show ahead of season 11, so viewers were unable to follow her pregnancy journey. An insider told Radar Online that Kenya was acting like a diva during her pregnancy and she treated Mark like her assistant. The source went on to say that Mark was a good man and Kenya took advantage of his kindness. His friends were reportedly in his ear telling him that he married a monster. Dang, dog. Their daughter Brooklyn was born in November 2018 and by 2019, their marriage was nothing short of a hot stankin' mess. In September 2019, online sources reported Mark was slapped with another federal tax lien. This time, he owed a little over $111,000. Kenya returned to The Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 12, and she and Mark split up while the show was filming. That meant viewers were able to see their relationship implode on screen. During one chat, Mark complained about Kenya driving a Bentley and how she liked to be flashy. Mark also told Kenya they should worry about taking care of the house before they worry about driving a Bentley. Kenya's response was, But my house is paid for. So if I want to buy a car, there's prior there's priorities. It's my money. If I want to drive a Bentley, so be it. During a September 2019 charity function hosted by Mark, he can be overheard saying he hated being married. Are you enjoying the ride? No, I hate it. No, I hate it. Two days later, the couple separated. Now, let's do the math. Kenya and Mark started dating in December 2016. They got married in June 2017. Their daughter was born in November 2018, and they separated in September 2019. That means that in less than three years, their relationship went from sugar to sh You know what? Never mind. 
After news of their separation made headlines, a source told Us Weekly that Mark had cheated on Kenya multiple times. Despite the fact Kenya told Andy Cohen during a November 2019 Watch What Happens Live appearance that she was open to reconciling with him. Apparently, the feeling was mutual for Mark, but the issues between them persisted. During a March 2020 episode, Kenya told her co-stars that she went through Mark's phone and found text messages from a woman who was begging to continue sleeping with him even though he was married. Kenya says she contacted the woman and told her to stay away from her husband. That woman, he still communicates with after I told him, this is inappropriate. It was during that episode that Kenya admitted she missed a lot of red flags early on in their relationship. I think when you're excited and you're in love and you feel hopeful, you ignore the red flags. By June 2020, Kenya said she and Mark were considering having another baby. Say what now? During an interview with Us Weekly, she clarified that she was the one who wanted to try for baby number two via surrogate. However, Kenya pointed out that Mark was hesitant because he already had other children and he wasn't sure how many more children he wanted to have. By January 2021, the couple had separated again. Kenya officially filed for divorce in August of that year. Looking back on their marriage, she told Essence magazine that their biggest issue was the lack of respectful communication. She also has regrets for not protecting her assets with a prenup. As of this video, Kenya has been awarded primary custody, but their divorce is still in limbo. Mark requested a look into Kenya's finances, which leads her to believe that he's attempting to see how much money she has so he can get a divorce settlement. Sources also report that Mark is gunning for a piece of ownership of Kenya's home. Despite Kenya paying for the $500,000 residence in full, Mark argues that he also put money into some kind of improvements made to the house and, therefore, he should be granted ownership. Mark's attorney dropped him just weeks before a scheduled April 2023 hearing, but it's presumed that he now has a new attorney in place to battle it out against Kenya. Whew. And that brings us to the end of this mess. Looking back at this entire relationship, it's clear that it was doomed from the start. Don't you agree? If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.